The following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August 23, 1973, in London, England. Today's subject matter is what is religion? <coughs> so, we are reciting some verses from the sixth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, where the subject matter, dharma, is discussed. <coughs> It is said that dharman to sakshad bhagavatam. Dharma, it is Sanskrit word, and the English translation generally it is made as religion. The religion is accepted as a kind of faith. But faith may be wrong or right <coughs> according to the uh, different time, persons, uh, climate, condition, so many considerations. But Srimad Bhagavat says, Dharmantu Sakshad Bhagavatam. Dharma or religion means the law given by God. Simple formula. <coughs> As there are laws given by the state, similarly, the supreme state, supreme governor, is the supreme personality of God. <coughs> God means the supreme being, supreme person. So, uh, are the supreme authority. Supreme means the greatest authority. As in a state, the greatest authority is the government. Similarly, throughout the cosmic manifestation, uh, throughout the whole creation, there must be some supreme authority. So that supreme authority is God, and whatever He gives the rules and regulation, that is called religion. You cannot change it. That is law, whimsically, you cannot change. Then you will be punishable. Similarly, the laws are the words of the regulative principles given by God. Uh, that is religion, and if you do not follow it, then you will be punished. <coughs> Actually, the Sanskrit word dharma means the constitutional position. We may try to understand. What is the meaning of dharma? Just like fire. Fire means there must be heat and light. Without heat and light, there is no meaning of fire. If you say that we have got fire, but there is no heat and no light, so what kind of fire is it? So that fire and light of air, Heat and light of fire is to be understood as dharma. You cannot change it. <coughs> uh, this is no possibility. Otherwise, uh, there will be no meaning. As water, water is liquid. Uh, any water, any parts of the world, when you take water, it is liquid. Therefore, this liquidity is the dharma. Of what? You take anything. Actually, dharma means characteristic. Anything you take, 
That's why I am speaking before this microphone. So it does not produce the sound, then what kind of microphone is it? The sound production from the microphone is the dharma, is the religion. Natural characteristic. So what is the natural characteristic of human being? The natural characteristic is that we serve the superior. That is natural characteristic. Either you become Christian or Hindu or Muslim or Buddhist, uh, nobody can say that I do not serve any superior. Nobody can say. One must serve. That is all. Uh, faith, ritualistic. I am today Hindu. I can accept the ritualistic process uh, tomorrow of the Christian faith, or a Christian may take another ritual. But he is Business to serve the superior, that does not change. Either you become Christian or Muslim or Hindu, it does not. Uh, it is not that, that Hindus, they only serve in the office, the Christian do not. No. The service is there. The actual is a service is in dharma. Not this rubber stand, Hindu, Muslim, Christian. No. That is designated. <coughs> Actual dharma means the characteristic. If you take sugar, if you take sugar, it is sweet. The sweetness is the characteristic of sugar. That is dharma. If you take chili, it is very hot. If you take a chili and if it is sweet, it is immediately sweet. This is not good chili. Because there is no dharma. So, dharma means character. So here in the Srimad Bhagavatam it is said that Veda Pani Hito Dharma Jadanma Stad Vipar Jaya Veda Narayana Shaksha Sayamhu Riti Sushuma. Therefore, we have to understand dharma from scriptures. Veda, Veda means the book of knowledge. Veda means knowledge. Vitti Veda, Veda Gyan, Gyan. So, we have to take knowledge from authorized scriptures, authorized law book. A big lawyer means who is quite uh, aware of the laws of the state. Uh, similarly, uh, a religious person means who knows completely, at least, or partially also, uh, the laws of God. That is Dharma. That is Dharma. Uh. So, what is God? You have to understand. Then, what does He say? You have to understand. Then you can execute actually what is religion. If you do not know what is government, what is the laws of the government, how you can become a good citizen, that is not possible. A good citizen, a good citizen means to abide by the laws of the state. Similarly, a religious person means who abides by the order of God. This is Dharma. So, this question was raised by the uh, servants of Jamaraj in the matter of Ajami Upakhyan. And the Jamaraj, who is known as Dharmaraj, uh, master of understanding the religious principles, uh, so he explained what is dharma. He said, dharman tu sāksād bhagavat pranītam. Dharman tu sāksād bhagavat pranītam. Namai vidu rī sayonāpi deva. 
न सिद्ध मुख्या असुरा मनुष्या कुतुन विद्या धर चारणालय देर आर डिफरेंट प्लैनेटरी सिस्टम एंड इन ईच एंड एवरी प्लैनेटरी सिस्टम देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लिविंग बींग और ह्यूमन बींग एज वी आर गॉट ऑन दिस प्लैनेट डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ दिस ग्लो वी आर गॉट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पर्सन वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ पर्सन ऑनली ह्यूमन बींग आदर लिविंग एंटिटीज वी आर नॉट टेकिंग इन टू कॉन्सेंट्रेशन बिकॉज द धर्म इज मेन फॉर द ह्यूमन बींग नॉट फॉर द कैट्स एंड डॉग रिलीजियस सिस्टम इज देयर इन द ह्यूमन सोसाइटी एनी सिविलाइज ह्यूमन सोसाइटी देयर इज ए सिस्टम ऑफ रिलीजन इट डजन मैटर वॉट इज दैट रिलीजन दैट इज सिविलाइज ह्यूमन सिविलाइजन धर्मे न हीना पशु भी समान हा इन द ह्यूमन सोसाइटी इन द सिविलाइज ह्यूमन सोसाइटी इफ देर इज नो कॉन्सेप्शन ऑफ गॉड If there is no conception of God's order or God's law, that is not human. Society. That is animal society. Uh, the cats and dogs or other animals, big big animals, they have no sense. Uh, what is the law of God? What is God? How to execute that? That is not expected there. Take for example. Uh, In your country, the law is keep to the left while you drive your car. That is the order of the state. But if you do not obey the state order, instead of driving on the left side, if you drive on the right side, you immediately become a criminal, punishable. But the same right and left consideration. If a dog or a cat or a cow violates, instead of going uh, on the left side, if it passes, he has no fault. He is animal. He is animal. Or a child, if he violates law, uh, if I take anything without your permission, uh, that is called uh, stealing. If I enter your house without your permission, that is trespassing. So these are laws, and it is applicable to the grown-up man, intelligent man, civilized man. It must be. Uh, if you want to enter somebody's house, and if you see the sign of no admission without permission, you will never go because you are civilized. But a cat and dog will enter. A child will enter. Therefore, these laws of dharma or religious system is meant for the civilized human being, not for the uncivilized cats and dogs. No. Therefore, when a civilized man, so-called civilized man, has no knowledge of God, no knowledge of the laws of God, it is simply animal society. Dharma na hi na pasudi sama. They are animals. They are not to be considered as human being. This is law. This is the law. You cannot violate the laws of God. Uh, you cannot disobey the laws of God. You cannot say that I do not know the laws of God. You must know. Just like a good citizen, you must know what is the law of the state. If you say in the court, "My Lord, I did not know this law," that is not excuse. You will not be excused. Uh, as a citizen, good citizen, you are respected. Uh, similarly, we must know what is dharma, what is God, that is human. So, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita. यदा जदा ही धर्म से ग्लानी भवती भारत तदात्मा सृजा 
Krishna says, God says, that when there is too much disobedience in the matter of uh, law of the Supreme Lord, adharma, adharma sa bhukkhāna, godlessness, without any knowledge of God, without any knowledge of the God's order, that is called dharma sa glāni, uh, discrepancies in the matter of discharging the order of God. Tadātmānam sidāmaham, at that time uh, God advanced or descends. Uh, uh, he descends, personally he descends by his representative, by his son, or by his name also, uh, because they are all identical. God is representative, his name, his form, his activities, everything in relation to uh, to God, uh, that is also God. The, this evening we are discussing. Actually, this world is also God. Idam ni Vishyam, Bhagavan is the whole universal creation. Because it is creation of God, God has created. Therefore, the whole universe, the whole creation is also God, although it appears different from God. For example, that like the sun and the sunlight or sunshine, although apparently different, sun is different from the sunshine, still sunshine is also sun. Without sun, how there can be light in the sun sign? Uh, so, in broader sense, there is nothing but God, everything God. Uh, this is explained in the Vishnu Purana. Uh, Tathedam brahmana sakti. As the fire is placed, is situated in one place, but it is distributing the heat and light. Similarly, the Supreme Law, although he is in his above, the goal of Vrindavan, is still by his energy he is all pervaded. Uh, all but everywhere there is God. Uh, the sun sign, the sun is ninety million m- miles away from us. But as soon as the sun sign is there, we can understand there is sun. Uh, so if we are thoughtful, then we can understand what is God and how his energies are acting. That you can understand. Uh, exactly like that. As the fire is situated in one place, but the heat and light is working, similarly you can understand the existence of God by the energy of God, the energy, how the energy of God is working. You can understand God. And the energies are acting under certain laws given by God. That there is a sun sign. There is a particular time. At this hour, the sun sign will be visible. At night, if you want sun sign, it is not possible. However advanced you may be in science, however scientific machinery you have discovered, but you cannot get sun sign in this night, dark night. No scientist can say, now we have discovered a scientific method by which at night also sun will rise. No, that is not. Of course they sometimes say like that, rascal like, but that is not possible. 
You cannot change the law of God. That is not possible. If you want sunshine, then you have to wait till morning. When the, by the grace of God, by the order of God, sun will rise, you will get sunshine. Not by your scientificness. Uh, similarly, here it is stated, dharmantu sakshat bhagavat pranita navai vidu rishayanapi deva. Rishaya, rishaya means great sages. Rishaya, great sages. Great scientific person or great thoughtful philosopher, even scientist, they cannot create dharma. Dharma and saksha, direct. Dharma is directly made by God. Not that because one is very great saintly person, great philosopher, great scientist, he can make a kind of religious system. No, that is not possible. That will not be religion. That may be something else, but that is not religion. Religion must be given by God. Dharma and Sasha. He has denied here in this verse. Namai vidu rishaya nāpi deva. Vidu, vidu means knowing. Rishaya, great saintly person. Namai vidu rishaya. Nāpi deva. Deva means demigod. There are very, very big, powerful demigods. Just like in the Chandra, the sun, sun is also demigod. The sun is distributing the light. That is by the order of God, not independently. Anything you find, they are abiding by the laws of by the the light. That is by the order of God. Not independent. Anything you find, they are abiding by the law. Uh, many shastras, we have to take knowledge from the shastras. And if you uh, judge from good sense and intelligence, you will have to admit what is said in the shastra. Uh, now, just like in the Bhagavad Gita, it is said that. Maya dhaksena prakriti shriyate sa characharam. We are very much astonished to see the activities of the material nature. Wonderfully working. But we do not know that behind the material nature there is God. Under His direction the material nature is working. That is intelligence. Material nature, matter, matter cannot act independently. That is not possible. Just like this microphone is a combination of material things, some iron, some other metals. But it has been adjusted, created by some living entity. Not that matter has automatically come into uh, intermingling with each other and become a microphone. That is not possible. Take any message. Uh, it may be very wonderful message. Just like nowadays the wonderful message is computer. Uh, uh, so it acts very wonderfully. But there must be a spark man to push the bottom. Otherwise it will not. Without that expert man, this wonderful machine is lump of iron, that's all. But there's no way. Take any machine. Similarly, this huge gigantic machine of cosmic manifestation, where innumerable planets are floating in the sky, just like cotton swap, don't think that it is so acting automatically. No. There is direction behind it, or there is brain behind it. And that brain, that big brain is God. God is also like us, a being, but He is supreme being. As we are being, we have got our brain, we have got our creative power, 
we can do something, we can manufacture something like European Sputnik. But God has got big brain. We may float one mechanic aeroplane in the air, but by the God's brain, millions and trillions of heavy planets are floating in the air. That is God's brain. He has got also brain. He has got also creative power. We have also creative power. But we have got uh, little, and He has got supreme power. That is the difference. God means the supreme brain, the supreme powerful. And we are teenies, we are subordinate. Therefore our position is to abide by the orders of God that is actually the
जाए उस बात पर मन से परिभ्रा जगा अच्छा व्यस्त करे श्री समाज अपनी धाम दिशा श्री गोस्वामी को बात की जाए अंत पूरी विष्ण मिल की जाए नामाचार्य श्री हरिदास ठाकुर की जाए प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत राधा सुभाष आदि बहु भक्त मिल जाए श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण को गोपना शाम खंड राधा खंड गिरी उद्धन की जाए वृंदावन धाम की जाए नवदीप धाम की जाए गंगा माए की जाए जमुना माए की जाए गुरु द्वारका धाम की जाए स्वामी तो भक्तविंद की जाए और ग्लोरी सुधे समय और ग्लोरी सुधे समय थैंक यू वेरी मच